everybody, it's Christy back with another video. And today we are going to unbox the spring Blackwing subscriptions box. I know everybody looks forward to this as do I. So let's go ahead and open it. Ooh, Blackwing volumes number 20. Okay, let's see what else we got in here. <gasps> Is this a gaming pencil? Because we have a D20 in here. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited if that's the case. I love board games um, and video games, but board games. So this is a finish says D20. Oh my gosh, the pencils have a D20 finish. I can't wait to see what that means. Uh, Feral and Clip is gold and black. The eraser is red and the imprint is gold. The graphite is firm. So this is the March 2023 Blackwing volume. And this is my super special one that gets to stay in there. I'm just going to make sure I didn't miss anything else. There's usually like a little insert that tells me about everything. Let me, yeah, nope, that's it. I'm just making sure. Okay, let's read about the pencils. So the tabletop games pencil. Oh my gosh, I'm so jazzed. The types of games we play and the way we play them have evolved. Some of the earliest tabletop games like chess, Mancala, and Senet, Senet? I don't know how I've never played that, uh, were games of strategy. Today, math, language, storytelling, and more help forge a unique gameplay experiences for countless different games. With just a pencil, notebook, and a set of dice, you can become um, a real estate tycoon, a wordsmith, or an adventurer on a quest. Oh, I'm so in love with this. You can team with others or build a mist to solve a mystery or build the ultimate baseball team to crush the competition. The only limit is your imagination and the rules of the game, of course. Blackwing 20 celebrates tabletop games and the cherished moments that they create. Each pencil features a raised polyhedron design, ooh, so neat, um, inspired by gaming dice and our firm graphite that is perfect for keeping track of hit points or tallying a final score. Oh my gosh. Sorry if that was loud. I am so excited about these pencils. All right, so let's grab one and see. Okay, I see. So take a look. I'm going to try to get it to focus on that design on the barrel. It is raised, so it's definitely like an embossed design. Absolutely gorgeous. Um, Blackwing 20 is stamped in gold. Um, let me get a few things out here so that we can test and swatch and I'll draw something. All right, so I have a Blackwing sharpener that I bought somewhere, mm -hmm. but for the life of me, I can't tell you where it is at this exact moment. We're just gonna go ahead and open up to, I think the next available page, which is right here. Um, <clears throat> we'll go ahead and maybe I'll just do this one because I'm gonna unbox something else today as well. We're just going to go ahead and sharpen with our little ellipse sharpener that I know works well on black wings. But overall, I just have to say this is such a cool idea. I really, really love the idea of a pencil for tabletop gaming. My friends and I are huge gamers. We love to play both board games and video games. Uh, we do both pretty interchangeably, but especially um, like with my daughter, we really, really have gotten into wintertime, like playing games when we're cooped up inside and it's too cold to do much else. So I really appreciate this. And it is something that really, really just like hits my other likes really, really right in the sweet spot. So this is Blackwing. Uh, March. Volume 20, the tabletop gaming pencil. Um, I'm just in love with that. And then we got this super, super neat dice here. And actually, um, it's funny that we got a die because I have an upcoming video this is a little bit of a spoiler alert, where we're going to play with some art dice and uh, do a little bit 
of rolling with some art dice. So that is an upcoming video. Uh, look forward to it. I am excited about it. I'm not sure when it's happening. It's just going to depend on when other things get here as well. But that is upcoming. So um, I am going to sketch something on here and we will we will see you guys at the end here when I'm I'm done. But this is a really, really cool pencil. I really think this will be so nice to have a bunch of these in our gaming cabinet with all of the games that we play. So um, I'm trying to think of games that we use pencils for. Um, let me just make like a little list of some of my favorites right now that use a pencil or pen. So I really love a lot of smaller games. All right, so here's an oldie but a goodie. We really have been uh, getting into lately Phase 10. I don't know if any of you have played Phase 10, and that's not like a terribly complicated game, but it is a lot of fun, and we really like to do it. We also really like deduction games in this house, so we play a lot of games that involve deduction. Um, obviously, something like Clue is very popular. If you have played Clue before, two games I would recommend to you for your family are Cryptid, which does not require pencils. Actually, Cryptid is super neat because you are playing on this board and you're trying to find the habitat of your cryptid and um, there's no writing at all. You're just like looking at the board and trying to figure out what everybody else's rule is to figure out the one space on the board where the cryptid can live. It's really a neat game. Um, definitely recommend that one. But a game that we really like that is similar to Clue, uh, but relatively uh, reasonably priced and a lot of fun is called 13 Clues. We really like playing that one. Another one that my daughter likes playing, and this is an old game. I don't even think you can buy this game anymore. In fact, I know you can't because my old copy from childhood got destroyed and I went on eBay to replace it. And that is a game called Mystery Mansion. The game had this gigantic board and it was a mansion and there were all these little pieces of furniture and you had to find out where somebody had hidden the money. And there was this electronic little talking thing um, that you had to punch numbers into and it would give you clues and you started a new game each time. Uh, we absolutely love that game and play it all the time still. It has uh, definitely transcended generations at our house. Finally, and this is a game that won't necessarily use our Blackwing pencils because they have little dry erase boards, but I don't know if you've ever played party games. Our favorite party game going right now is called Telestrations. It's kind of like telephone meets password. It's really fun um, if you've never played that before, but we are a huge tabletop gaming family and... Um, oh, I, I'm sorry. I left one off this list that we definitely use pencils for because we score it and play it. And that is Quiddler. Quiddler is like if somebody combined Rummy and Scrabble. Um, <laughs> I like apparently like fusion games, but these are all games that we really enjoy playing and just have the best time with. And um, our daughter is nine, but she has really taken to loving board games as much as we do. So, um, yeah, I'm just really excited about these pencils. I think they're super neat and they're going to be a lot of fun to use in gaming and just in general to have in the art room here. So I'm going to go ahead and just sketch something right now and we will come back at the end. <laughs>
All right, ladies and gentlemen. Well, I'm just doodling here. I'm not really even trying to sketch anything very good. And obviously, I'm not doing the best job of even creating a box because I'm at the end of my week, guys. My brain is fried, and I think I just need to go and chill out and relax. We have spring break next week, and I'm really looking forward to it. But um, I love these pencils. Normally, I do stick some of my black wings away so that I'm hoping this summer to, like, get some of them listed on Etsy, but I'm going to keep this whole box for me because this box is going to live in our game cabinet and we will use these pencils for years and years to come when playing games. So once again, Blackwing, you guys are awesome. You knock it out of the park every single quarter with your new boxes. I love how your leads have different levels of firmness. I think firmness is a word. Um, and I can't wait to see what you do next in June. And that's going to be it for me today. Hopefully this inspires you to doodle something today or to get out a board game and play it with somebody you love. And we will see you guys in the next video. Bye for now.